Nissan as we know it will never be the same. With their new ambition for electrification, we can kiss those Jacko CVTs goodbye. <laughs> We're over at the Nissan newsroom. Nissan unveils Ambition 2030 vision to empower mobility and beyond. Today, we're gonna to dive deep into their electrification strategy, and they also gave us some concept images as well. If you're new to the channel, my name's Kirk. I talk about Japanese and Korean cars. If you're into that, smash the like button, subscribe for more of that same sort of content. And let's get into these new concept videos. So the first vehicle we're gonna talk about is kind of like an electric, Miata. People have been kind of asking for a fully electric Miata. Well, Nissan has at least given us a concept on it and is of course just a two-seat roadster and this thing is really cool. We have LEDs on the wheels which probably won't make it to production. This taillight is simple and I love it. Uh, they're really into customizing their taillights with these new concepts and we're just gonna go back. Check out these nighttime running lights. Of course, we're not going to see anything like this in a production car, at least not until maybe 20, 30 years from now. But man, it, it's cool. And Nissan has always been kind of pushing that boundary with their designs. They have arguably, besides Mazda, I would say, probably the best looking Japanese cars on the market. And it looks like that's going to be the case in the future as well. And these taillights at the very end of the video just kind of shrink into nothing as she gets off the brake pedal. Pretty cool. Next vehicle is called the Hangout. It's an off-roading centered crossover, right? That's the big thing right now, like Mazda CX-50 that just was announced uh, in the last week or two. This thing reminds me of the old Nissan Cube and kind of mixed with a Land Rover or even Defender. So that's kind of how I see this as a melding of a couple different ideas. Pretty crazy looking sunroof there with some unique LEDs going through it. And the rear looks, to me, looks pretty uh, Land Rover, Range Rover. What do you guys think? And the Hangout also has sliding doors, front and rear. A better image there if you want to zoom in. I mean, there's just, it's a very minimal, it almost looks like a keyboard in here. And then lastly, we have this geometrically shaped shade of the future while the kids are playing old school Jenga. And you see the seats rotating and then you also have a running board or drop down running board to get people in and out of the vehicle a little bit quicker. And here is the surf out. Okay, so all the vehicles end and out, they're going all out. And this is uh, kind of like a two seater pickup truck. I don't know why it wouldn't be a four seater pickup truck. Maybe you can expand that. Of course, customizable tail lights there. And here we are with the chill out. This is the last one, which there are four. If I said three, I was wrong. This one, I wasn't really counting because this just looks like the next generation of the Aria to me. So, I mean, this is the city crossover, the electric crossover that probably the most likely to come into fruition with all these designs that we saw today. Not necessarily this interior. I mean, we're a long ways out from level four, level five autonomy, but it's pretty cool what the future is going to bring with electric vehicles. All right, getting into the nitty gritty here. Nissan to accelerate electrification plans with an investment of 2 trillion yen over the next five years. 2 trillion yen <laughs> comes out to be about 17.5 billion US dollars. They're going to launch 23 new and exciting electrified models, including 15 new electric vehicles. So that means battery electric vehicles. Electrified models are going to probably include e-power hybrid setups as well as potentially mild hybrids. Um, and they're aiming for 50% electrification mix by the fiscal year 2030. And if we head over to Best Car Web, one of these is going to be the new Serena, which we don't get here. We don't get any Nissan minivans here in the United States after the quest was canceled. But uh, yeah, this is going to be one of the electrified options. Not a fully electric vehicle. It's going to have e-power and a mild hybrid from what I'm hearing. And they're introducing an all solid state battery in the fiscal year 2028, which ranges from March 31st, 2028 to March 31st, 2029. That two trillion investment or $17.5 billion investment is going to be in the next five years for electrification. And Infinity is going to also, thank God, Infinity will also be included in this electrification announcement. So, I mean, we haven't really heard anything about Infinity other than them finally getting the new QX60 out on the market. So by the end of the fiscal year of 2026, Europe 
is going to have more than 75% of its vehicles be electrified. You'll have a mix, of course, between their e-power hybrid setups and battery electric vehicles. In Japan, by 2026, we're gonna have 55% of those vehicles be electrified. China, surprisingly, at just 40%, and then America, is going to get 40% as well, but not by 2026, but by 2030. So of course the United States is going to be the last focus there. They wanna make as much money as possible by not offering battery electric vehicles, at least as we know it right now, Gas, gasoline cars, internal combustion and vehicles just cost way less than a huge battery pack and all the computers surrounding it with wheels on it, which is an electric car. All right, let's talk batteries. I love talking batteries. It gets me really, really excited. Batteries is the reason for electric cars, and it's also the reason we don't have more and better electric cars. So batteries need to keep getting better here. And Nissan is dedicated. And they're also, of course, gonna be spending tens of billions of dollars to figure out this battery stuff. They will evolve its lithium ion battery technology to introduce cobalt free technology. Good to see, because cobalt is a hot topic because most of the cobalt is sourced from Africa using childhood labor. It's bad, bad stuff. They're hoping to bring down cost by 65% by the fiscal year 2028. Fingers crossed though, we need lithium production to ramp up as well in the meantime. And just a quick side note here, over at Autumn of News, uh, the toxic lake in California, the Salton Sea, which used to be a vacation hotspot, they're gonna be mining that for lithium so we can produce battery packs here at stateside. We don't have to bring this lithium in from Australia, China, or South America. So hopefully Nissan can get their piece of the pie of the Salton Sea, as well as many other manufacturers that build and make cars here in the United States. All right, onto solid state batteries. They will launch an EV. That means available in the market, probably not here in the United States, right? Because by 2030, only 40% of, of their vehicles will be electrified. But anyways, they will launch an EV with all solid state battery by fiscal year 2028 and ready to pilot plant in Yokohama as early as fiscal year 2024. Nissan with this new solid state battery will be able to expand its EV offerings across segments and offer more dynamic performance. This will allow them to reduce charging time to one third. All solid state batteries will make EVs more efficient and accessible. Nissan is expecting all solid state to bring the cost of battery packs down to $75 per kilowatt hour by fiscal year 2028 and aims to bring it further down to $65 per kilowatt hour to achieve cost parity between EV and gasoline vehicles in the future. We're probably not going to see cost parity with gasoline cars, at least according to Nissan, at the earliest by 2028 when solid state batteries come online. So it could be as much as a decade away or more before electric cars are as cheap as gas cars to make. Now, the governments are subsidizing electric vehicles to make them more affordable for the consumers, but man, yeah, we still have a long ways to go. Nissan intends to increase its global production for batteries to 52 gigawatt hours by fiscal year 2026, and over double that to 130 gigawatt hours by 2030. That is a huge difference in ramp up there in just four years. They talk about uh, their self-driving technologies, which doesn't get me excited, it scares the willies out of me. And Nissan will be localizing manufacturing and sourcing to make EVs more competitive. So their EV hub that they have just uh, renovated and brought online in UK, they're going to bring that to Japan, China, and the United States. And the EV360, <laughs> Get it? 360. Anyways, it's fully integrated manufacturing and service ecosystem connecting mobility and energy management with the aim of realizing carbon neutrality. And if I remember correctly, I believe that plant in the UK is fully powered by carbon free power. So green energy. And just as important as building batteries, we have to find better ways to recycle them. Nissan has aligned with a company called 4R Energy and they have battery refurbishing facilities in Japan right now, but they're looking at Europe for battery refurbishing and in the United States in the fiscal year of 2025. They're saying even with electric vehicles, they'll be able to have an operating profit margin above 5%. Maybe not in this decade. I think that's gonna be hard as they invest so much money into batteries and changing their entire philosophy over to electric vehicles. But I think after 2028, 2030, once they have solid state batteries on the market, I think it's gonna be a lot easier for them to make over 5% 
offer operating profit. Do you think Nissan is going to be able to roll out this attack, this electric vehicle attack in the next decade? Do you think they're going to have all solid state batteries in a vehicle by 2028? Is that too early? Is that too late? Toyota is saying they have are going to have one by 2025. Look into the future. The further you go out, the, the, the cloudier and darker things get. I'm very interested and excited for Nissan, especially with these concept vehicles. I would love to see them have an electric Miata fighter like they showed with this max out concept. The chill out concept looks like the next Aria. The surf out concept, I mean, I wish this was an SUV, but essentially the hangout concept is kind of like that SUV version of the surf out. Anyways, everything's out. Nissan has laid all their cars down. They're going all out on electrification. I can't wait to see in the next five to 10 years how many of these concepts actually come somewhat close to production. I really like this one back here. Reminds me of the Nissan Cube mixed with a Land Rover but guys, I'm going to end it there. I'll see you down in the comments below. Are you excited for Nissan's change, their ambitions, and all-out electric strategy? But man, as we get closer to Christmas, announcements like this make me feel like I'm five again, waiting for Santa to come. But I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, peace out.